Uh, let's turn attention uh, to cricket now. It's day one of the second test between England and New Zealand starts up in Nottingham today. But before we discuss that, matters on the pitch. Uh, James Taylor has left his role as England's head scout. MD Rob Key has spoken of his preference to return to the model of a national selector rather than leaving responsibility for selection solely to the head coach. The new selection team will work with England Test head coach Brenda McCullum and white ball coach. Matthew Mott Harmy um, National Selector that would do you wouldn't it <laughs> I'm not trying to get rid of you here, but that would do you Harmy yeah let's try to get rid of me no I, I applied for the job um, about seven or eight years ago um, and it was quite quite funny actually because when I applied for it it's as if like you apply for it Ray and you yeah. apply for it Al I got the same email back to say I hadn't getting it that you know anybody anybody off the street would have applied for it um, and then I, I mentioned it to Michael Vaughan. Michael Vaughan then wrote it in his column. And the ECB, you know, at the time, Paul Downton wrote me a, a handwritten letter of apology to say, "Look, we didn't, th- we basically didn't think it was you." Um, it is something that interested me then, and I, I would be interested now for the simple fact is, as a selector, you've got a chance to help and change and you know be a part of something special and do you have to watch work with a head coach or I think or you simply got to be your own man I think you've got it's a little bit of both you have to be your own man because there's things that you see that the head coach doesn't see but you've also got to work with the head coach to find out what the head coach is um how he wants his team to be set up and the players that he's looking for in that environment, and mm. then as a as a selector, you go and you go and give him you give him options, or you you try and find a way of of, of working together to get um, the best possible team. Harvey, this the... is not a hand grenade; it's not a loaded question. Yeah. But um, was James Taylor was he strong enough? Was he his own man? Um, I thought he did a good. I thought they did a good job in. Look, it was a difficult one for James Taylor because he came in as a as a basically a number two alongside Ed Smith, and Ed Smith um, had a fallen out with one or two of the senior players, and then when the top job got changed, um, Ed Smith obviously he brought the brunt of of the wrath of of, of not being Ashley Giles's man, um, and he got he got. He basically got sacked, um, or he got asked to to, to leave the uh, the role as head selector. And I thought James Taylor did a good job. White ball cricket, England did very well. Struggled in red ball cricket, but we mentioned about COVID before. But there's only so much you can do as in in the job that James Taylor had from a scouting point of view, because the head selector at the time was the coach. And I think Rob Key's done the right thing by going back to selectors who aren't in the, the sort of the goldfish bowl of, 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 of the group. Um, and you can get out and see some. We've got some fantastic young players in this country. Mm. Um, and I think it's it's now important that they have different eyes to 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 help get to the best conclusion, which is the best England cricket team. So from that point of view, I think it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. I'll be interested to see who goes in at the top. Um, I think Rob Key will probably have his eye on somebody that's going with a, you know experience of being in a, in a managerial role. Um, but it'll be it'll be interesting to see how you know how it plays out. But it's and your relationship with Rob's pretty good, isn't that's, it? That would be my problem. That would be my problem when you ask me would I be interested in it. I couldn't. I could never go to Rob Key and ask and, and apply for a job because of my relationship with him. He's one of my best mates in life, and right. I would never want to put him. I would never want to put him in that position. If he turned around to me and said, "Harmy, look, I've got a job here. I think you'd be good at." Not a problem at all. I go to the other end of the world for him because he's done that for me. But. Um, it's it's always something that's intrigued me the the selecting role because you've got a chance to shape cricket in this country. It's a bit like it's a, it's a bit like helping you know, the England manager or being it's not being an England manager. It's not there's no role like that in football, but you can help shape the destiny of the team by identifying players which will make that little bit more of a difference. Um, if somebody gets injured, loses form, or you know mm. you, you're trying to sort of take the team in a different direction, is it is it similar to football, the academies, um, cricket, or is not, that getting better? It's one. Ray, it's probably one role in. It's probably one role in cricket, which probably isn't in football. You could probably say it's like, it's not like an assistant manager, but it's it's some. If, uh, uh, 
you are basically a scout, a head scout. Mm. You know, you're you're going to watch a player because the, the coach can't watch him, the manager can't yeah. watch him. But you go also go in with the fact that the manager's telling you this is the brand of cricket I want to play. This is the brand of football I want to play. Does he fit into he this? Fit in? yeah. And if he does fit into it, well, there's three or four here. Which one do we go with? And then, you know, you you give your recommendation, and then oh. ultimately. The captain. I've always believed the captain has, should have the final say on the on the on the team because he's the one that's got to go on the field and and, and yeah. make all the decisions. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil, Thursday and Friday morning, six till ten on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.